Hello and welcome to another video for research for pandemic effects on small businesses. My name is Ian McDermott and I am the librarian supporting your research for this project. In this video, we're going to look at how to do research on a New York City neighborhood. And in particular, we're going to focus on image research since you need to find images from the past and from the present. One place that's really great to check for New York City history is the Museum of the City of New York. They have fantastic in-person and online resources and exhibitions, including their really fantastic digital collections, which allows you to search for historic images of New York City. Coincidentally, they just hosted an exhibition last year called Germ City that includes an essay called Epidemics Throughout New York's History that I highly encourage you to read and is linked from this slide. But first we're going to look at the digital collections page. Now, as you can see, they have over 200,000 images on their website documenting the history of New York City. It can be a bit overwhelming to know where to start, so you can use some of their suggested tools like browsing highlights, themes, or searching by borough. And searching by borough might help you because you're going to be doing research on a particular neighborhood. So if we click on borough, I'm going to pick Queens because I live in Queens, as I'm sure some of you do. And here we can go directly to a portal that's going to narrow our search to just Queens images. So this way we don't have to worry about getting false positive results in Manhattan, the Bronx, so on and so forth. And I find with a database like this, it's sometimes really good to start simple. So I am going to put in quotes my neighborhood, Jackson Heights. And now you can see, just by searching Jack, doing a very simple search for Jackson Heights, I get over 440 results. So if I click on any one of these, I can see I can narrow my search just a little bit more. Now, as I scroll down, I don't get too much information about the images, but I'm seeing a lot of pictures of buildings in Jackson Heights, which, as a longtime resident of the neighborhood, look kind of familiar, but pretty different from what the neighborhood looks like today. So I'm going to click on this image, which actually looks like the building across the street from my own. And now I can see here that this image is from 1922, and this fits perfectly with my own research interests because, as we saw in the previous video, I was doing research from 1915 to 1925, the years during which New York City experienced the Spanish flu epidemic. So here I have an historic image of Jackson Heights from 1922. And now I'll be able to incorporate this into my research and then compare it with what the neighborhood looks like today. I already noticed that one side of the street seems to be completely covered in grass as opposed to being filled with more buildings. So that immediately gives me a sense of how different the neighborhood must have been in 1922. Now I'm going to go back to the slides and show you one more image resource that I think is going to be really neat for your project. And on this slide, you can see it right here, there's a photographer named Jose Camilo Vergara, and he has been documenting New York City neighborhoods for over 40 years. And now if we click on this link, it goes directly to his website. And what's remarkable about his work is he has been doing precisely what your assignment asks you to do, taking pictures of the same place over many years. 
So we can see right here, he's organized all of his pictures by location. So he does a lot of work in New York City, but he also photographs in places like Gary, Indiana, Chicago, Illinois, and Detroit, Michigan. But what we can do here is if we click on this link right here where it says Southwest Corner of West 125th Street at Malcolm X Boulevard, we can see right here, this looks like an older picture, and what I'm going to do is I'm going to go down here and click on Caption so I can get some info about the image. And I can see here now that this was taken in 1989, and there's 10 images in this portfolio. And so if we just start to click through them, we can see how this street corner has changed over the years. 1993, 2001, we can see some large commercial signs covering the building. 2003, 2005, 2007 we see that this image with this building was demolished and remained empty until 2011 and maybe even longer because now we see in this last image from 2016 there's a new building on this site so this is a really incredible uh, document of how neighborhoods in New York City have changed over in this case, a 30-year period. There are many, many more image collections available for you when you do your research. And there's also many more um, museum websites with essays and other kinds of informative materials for you. I've listed just a few here on this slide. For more contemporary images, you can see there's the COVID-19 Story Project, which is a part of the library's institutional archives. And on Instagram, you can search the hashtag COVIDStoriesNYC, which has crowdsourced photographs that people have um, tagged in their own Instagram accounts. So this way, you're going to have some really good resources that are going to give you images of New York City past and New York City present. Thank you.